Hi, this is the instruction video for day 112, uh, parallelograms. Okay, so um, when you guys go to the assignment, you'll probably come up to something that looks like this. Uh, you're gonna go to open with Google Docs. This should open up a uh, Google Doc that you can actually write in. Uh, in general, the way I've organized uh, these documents uh, for this lesson and how I'm gonna organize it for future lessons is that the stuff in yellow uh, is stuff that you can just write into the um, Google document, like um, write in the paper. Um, and then the stuff in uh, blue, uh, you're gonna have to basically write on a separate sheet of paper, um, take a photo and then send it to me. Um, when you write on a separate sheet of paper, make sure you actually write which question it is uh, you do not have to copy the question, uh, just write like number two and then draw the picture. Um, if it is easier for you, uh, you can also just on that paper, um, write the stuff in yellow and the stuff in blue. Um, so option one, uh, answer the stuff in yellow here in the document and then answer stuff in blue on a separate sheet of paper. Um, or option two, uh, answer everything on that separate sheet of paper. Whichever one is most convenient for you. Okay, so um, 6.17 is talking about parallelograms and we're gonna be looking at what they are uh, and their properties. And then you're gonna use those properties to try to figure out other things. Uh, so what is a parallelogram? A uh, parallelogram is a quadrilateral with two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So quadrilateral means it has four sides uh, in this picture right here. Um, basically the left side is parallel to the right side and the top side is parallel to the bottom side. And that's the definition of what a parallelogram is. Uh, so for number one, uh, you're just answering uh, from looking at the picture and looking at the uh, definition, you're gonna answer what do you think a parallelogram's properties are? Uh, think about their sides, their angles and their diagonals. Uh, a diagonal is basically um, the line that goes from one corner to another corner. So that would be one, um, that right there would be one diagonal and here is a second diagonal. So parallelograms have two diagonals. Okay. Um, so write down what you think their properties are. Uh, next, for number two uh, through number eight, uh, in the yellow part, you are writing whether or not you think this is always true, never true, or sometimes true. If you think this is always true or never true, uh, down here, uh, you're gonna end up drawing uh, one picture that shows uh, that it is true or not true. Uh, if you think it is sometimes true, then down here, you're gonna end up drawing two pictures, one showing uh, when it is true, one showing when it is not true. Down from number nine through 14, uh, what you're doing is you're trying to prove each one of these properties. And so here, you'll definitely have to do it on a separate sheet of paper. Um, so this is, you're gonna do the two column uh, proof uh, where uh, basically, um, so create some sort of chart like this uh, in your uh, separate sheet paper. Right here, you're going to write uh, like the reason. So here you'll end up writing like the, uh, like the reason. And here you'll write your statements on this side. Um, and at the end, uh, at the very bottom down here, uh, at the very bottom down here, you should have uh, your last statement uh, should be this thing you're trying to prove. Okay, so do that for these five, number nine through 14. And at that point, uh, we now know what a parallelogram is. We know what the properties are. You've proved a couple of new properties about parallelograms. And here you're gonna start just answering some questions to uh, use those properties in maybe creative ways. Um, so uh, number 15 is a true or false, a yes or no question. Uh, number 16 is multiple choice. 
Um, and number 17 here. Uh, so looking at this figure, it says that uh, M here is halfway in between A and B, and N is halfway between M and P. Uh, it also tells you um, that MN is congruent to NP. All right, and using this, you're going to prove that these two triangles right here uh, are congruent. Um, all right, uh, so number 17 actually has four parts. If you scroll down to the next page, uh, so same picture, same uh same exact uh, things being true. M is halfway between AB. N is halfway between M and P. So here you're gonna try to prove that, um, or, or you're gonna say, what can you figure out about this quadra quadrilateral? Uh, M, P, C, B. So what can you figure out about this quadrilateral down here? Explain how you can figure it out. Uh, and next you're gonna show uh, that MN is half the size of BC. Um, and so just uh, like explain your thinking and how you know that to be true. Um, and finally, uh, down here, uh, what else can you figure out about how MN, uh, MN and BC are related to each other? Okay, and that's it for um, this assignment. Um, so once you filled it out, um, uh, send me your document um, or submit your document uh, and also submit a picture of the work you did on your own sheet of paper. All right. Have a nice day.